Hi everyone and welcome to class. My name is Lisa Pompa. Today we have a full body practice with a little bit of a faster pace to get the body going and a little bit of extra hip, on, uh, extra focus on the hips to begin with. Okay, we're gonna start seated on the mat. I have a block with me just in case I needed to support myself during the practice. So if you have that, you can bring it with you. We're gonna start seated and as, I, as you sit on the mat, come to the long edge of your mat. So just as I'm facing you and open your feet in front of you. You're going with the heels, what it would be like mat width and heels in, toes out. And as I sit here, if you feel better, sit it on your block, then prop yourself a block or a pillow if you'd rather get your hips a little bit higher. Grab onto your ankles with your hands and right from here, I'm gonna think, I'm gonna grab onto my ankles, I'm gonna pull onto them so I can lift the chest a little bit higher. As I do that, I'm pulling the heels back towards me as I get a little bit taller and starting to feel a little bit of stretch on the inner thighs as we do that. Now keep, keep that. So you're pulling onto the ankles back, the chest lifts up, and if you think it works to do that too, then think knees down towards the floor. It's just like completely opening. And if the knees, you're trying to get the knees down closer to the floor, think about using the glutes a little bit to support that. We have two more breaths here. Lift the chest, knees down to the floor, heels back towards you. One more breath. And then release that and soften everything and maybe round forward a little bit as you relax. Good. Right from here, I'm gonna drop both legs over to the right side. And then I'm gonna readjust my legs to get into a 90-90 position. So I'm thinking heel, knee, hip, on the same line, finding 90 degrees and 90 degrees through the back leg. If this feels not nice with your knees or your hips, then you're gonna catch that block and place it kind of underneath the right leg on the long edge. So you can prop your hips a little bit higher also a pillow would be nice here so it feels nicer and more comfortable as you sit there so readjust yourself a little bit as you need to here we're going to be moving right and left a few times so right from here we're going to focus on that left leg i'm going to point my left toes back and then right from here i'm going to lift that left heel up towards the ceiling and then right from here, I'm gonna to try to keep the right knee where it is for as long as possible. I'm gonna lift let that left knee up towards the ceiling, up towards the ceiling, up towards the ceiling. When I cannot keep that right knee there anymore, I'm gonna allow it to follow the left leg as we draw both legs over towards that left side. Okay, I'm gonna readjust my legs, 90-90. Taking a moment here, I'm gonna point my right toes back. Lift the right heel up towards the ceiling, keeping the toes down. I'm gonna open the right knee up, up, up as high as I can before that left knee follows me to draw both legs over to the right side. Readjust your legs. We're gonna pick up the pace a little bit here. Point your left toes back, lift the heel up, lift the left knee up as high as you can, then follow your right knee. Point your right toes back, lift the right heel up, open the right knee up as much as you can before that left leg follows. Good. Now, I've been using my hands to support myself. If you can or if you want to try it, we go no hands on the floor. Point your left toes back, lift the heel up, lift the left knee up, 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 and then let your right knee follow. Point your right toes back, lift the right heel up, lift up and follow one more time on each side. So as we drop to the right, point your left toes back, lift the heel, lift that left knee up, and roll over to your left side. Point your right toes back, lift the right heel up, and last one, turn over to your right side. Right from here, we're gonna readjust yourself, ourselves to come onto all fours, onto hands and knees, good. Now the hips should be feeling a little bit more mobile now, a little bit more open. Get your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. We're gonna get a little bit onto the wrists from here. So right from here, send the shoulders forward towards your fingertips, any amount you can. 
and then start to moving the shoulder start moving the shoulders back and the moment you can you lift the fingertips off the floor with you making sure the elbows are not bending to make this happen so keep the arms straight hold here for three two one come forward onto your hands shoulders forward move back again lift the hands off the floor hold here for three two one come forward again last time shoulders forward as much as they go move the hips back hold here for three two one move forward downward facing dog send the hips back and up towards the ceiling straight from downward facing dog you're gonna walk your hands back towards your feet bend the knees as you need to to get back and then right from here roll all the way up to stand we're gonna warm up a little bit through the feet from here so right standing at the back of the mat that right foot is gonna take a step forward I'm gonna point my left toes back and then I'm gonna bend my right knee and see how much keeping my right foot flat on the floor I could sit down maybe you can sit all the way down to your left heel maybe not if you sit all the way down to your left heel then send your right knee forward and flex the right foot even more fingertips can touch the floor Let's say you're a little bit higher, just work from here with your fingertips on the floor if you're leaning forward. Good, and then press through the right foot and come back all the way up to stand. Good, take a step forward with your left foot, point your right toes back. Same thing, bend your both knees and see how much you could sit down. If you can sit all the way down, readjust as you need to and then lean forward towards that left heel towards that left foot make sure the heel is not lifting off the floor so we're going to really stretch through the calf and flex that left foot as much as it goes if you lift the heel you start to cheat that flex that flexion good press through that left foot come all the way up to stand send your right step take a step with your right foot forward bring your left toes back bend your both legs and sit down send your right knee forward and press back up to stand. Last one, step your left foot forward, point your left toes back, bend your both legs, sit down, send your left knee forward. One more breath here. And then downward facing dog, hands down as you step back into your down dog. From downward facing dog, look forward towards your hands, bend your knees, get high on your toes, exhale, step or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift the pathway. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, come all the way up, stretch up to the ceiling, palm touch. Exhale, hands to your heart. Lower the arms down to the sides, to that side at the top of the mat. Find length through the spine, find awareness through the feet. Lift the kneecaps, contract the thighs, relax the arms down. Son salutation A, right from here. Inhale, lift the arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale as you fall forward, bend the knees as you need to. Inhale, lift the pathway and lengthen. Exhale, step or jump back into Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, lift up, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, pressing back to downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, look forward towards your hands, bend your knees, get high on your toes. Exhale, step or jump to the top. Inhale, lift the pathway. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, come all the way up, stretch up to the ceiling, palm touch. Exhale, hands to your heart. Once again, inhale, lift the arms up. As you exhale, fall forward. Inhale, lift the pathway. Exhale, step or jump back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Take a moment here. Look back to the feet. Keep the breath in and out through the nose. Look forward towards your hands, bend your knees, get high on your toes, exhale, step or jump to the top. Inhale, lift the pathway, exhale as you fold. 
With the next inhale, come all the way up, stretch up to the ceiling. Exhale, hands to your heart. One more, inhale, lift the arms up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, fall forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step or jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, bring your feet together to touch side to side. Look forward towards your hands. We're gonna jump through. Bend your knees, get high on your toes, and then step or jump forward to sit on your mat. Once you sit on your mat, you're gonna bring your legs together in front of you. And we're gonna move into a seated crow pose, okay? So bring the feet together. And then right from there, move your feet back towards you. And as you move your feet back, think knees somewhere shoulder width distance apart. Right, right. Once, once you get with your knees into your chest as much as you can, you're gonna stretch the arms forward, placing your knees underneath your arms. And if you wanna add a little bit extra wrist work here, then you lift the fingertips up towards the ceiling, holding this, if you can, 90 degree angle as much as you can through the hands. Now find the balance here, and then see if you can lift your toes off the floor. And once you're here, what you wanna do is to get a little bit tinier. So can you hug your knees into your chest a little bit more and your heels in towards your bum and hold here for three. Knees towards your chest a little bit more. Hold there for two. Heels onto your bum, round the spine. One more breath here. And then release that. Place your feet on the floor. Now we see if we can find all that onto our hands. So crow pose, press the floor away from you. Come forward onto your hands. Place your hands down on the floor. Feet together to begin with. Lift the hips up, press your knees as high onto your triceps as you can. Lean a little bit forward, press the floor away from you. See if you can one, lift one foot, maybe the other one. As you round the back, press the floor away from you. Hold it here. Hug in everything closer together. And then lower your feet down towards the floor. Going to a forward fold, so stretch your legs a little bit more as you fall forward. Good. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, come all the way up, stretch up towards the ceiling, palms touch. Exhale, arms down by your sides. Readjust yourself, walking a little bit closer towards the top of the mat. Right from here, inhale, lift the arms up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift the pathway. Exhale, step or jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, inhale, bring your right leg back and up to the ceiling. Exhale and step your right foot forward in between your hands. Good. Lift the upper body up. Keep your hands somewhere onto your waist. We're gonna bend the back leg a little bit, tucking that tailbone in and feeling and stretch on the front of your left hip. If it works from here, then send the right knee more forward, but without going into that back bend, keep that tuck of the tailbone as the right knee moves forward, okay? Hands to your waist, take one more breath here. Then come forward to stand onto your right foot, and bring your left knee in towards your chest. Good. Take a moment, find the balance, and then kick that left leg forward. Open your left leg out to the left, Bring it back behind you into half moon pose. Right fingertips lower down, left fingertips go up towards the ceiling. Find the balance on the right foot. Focus one spot. One more breath here. Slide bend on your right knee as you step back to the back of the mat. Warrior two. Open the arms forward and back. Take a breath here. Then circle the arms down towards the floor. Plank pose. From plank pose, back into downward facing dog. 
Then from that downward facing dog, bring your feet together to touch. And maybe walk your feet a little bit closer towards your hands. We're gonna do a few frog jumps up. Maybe you catch a little bit of time into a handstand from here. Not that you need to do it, but maybe you get it. Otherwise, feet together, left the hips up towards the ceiling, look in between your hands, bend your knees, and then see if you can kick up and kick kind of your heels onto your bum a few times. So you go up a few times, up and down, up and down, up and down, and then downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, left side, inhale, bring your left leg back and up to the ceiling. As you exhale, step your left foot in between your hands. Lift the upper body up, bring your hands to your waist. We're gonna work with that back leg first. I'm gonna tuck my tailbone in. And then right from here, maybe I go deeper into that left leg. Take a moment. One more breath here. Then come forward to stand on your left leg. And bring your right knee towards your chest. Focus one spot right from here. Kick your right leg forward towards the top of the mat. Open the right leg out to the right. Half moon pose. Back behind you. As your left finger dips stretch down to the floor. Right arm. My one of open up towards the ceiling. You lose the balance, super normal. I just lost it a few times. <laughs> Take a moment there. Get lighter onto your left finger tips. One more breath here. The warrior two with control. Step your right foot back to the back of the mat. Open the arms out. Then circle the arms down towards the floor. Plank pose, hold your plank for a moment, and then back to downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, same thing, bring your feet together to touch again. A few frog jumps right from here. Look forward towards your hands, bend your knees, and take a few jumps forward and down. Find your own pace. Maybe you wanna do these against the wall too. That works. Go forward. One more jump, and then downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, bring your feet together to touch again. We're gonna jump through, look forward towards your hands, bend your knees. When you're ready, step or jump forward to sit on your mat. We're gonna try to find that crow pose again, seated, same thing. So bring your feet together, legs in front of you. Squeeze the legs in closer towards you. Big toes touch. Once you find that hugging, stretch the arms forward. Knees underneath your arms. Fingertips up towards the ceiling. And then right from here, can you keep all this, but lift your toes off the floor. Compressing yourself as much as you can. Hold here. And now don't get comfortable. Can you hug in a little bit more? Good. Hold here for three. Hold here, two, hug in a little bit more, one, and then release, crow pose, come forward, push the floor away from you, hands on the floor, feet together to begin with, as your hands touch down, get your knees onto your triceps, lean forward, press your hands on the floor, Lift one foot, maybe the other one. Press the floor away from you. Look a little bit forward. Find it. One more breath. And then toes down to the floor into a forward fold. Take your time. If you need more time playing there into crow pose, go for that. Then inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, come all the way up, stretch up to the ceiling, palms touch. Exhale, hands to your heart. Readjust yourself to the top of the mat. Finding Tadasana. Inhale, lift the arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale as you fall forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. 
Exhale, step or jump back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, inhale, bring your right leg back and up to the ceiling. Exhale, step your right foot forward in between your hands. Inhale and reach the arms up. Find that high lunge where you're stretching the front of your left hip. Tuck your tailbone in, take a moment. Then bring your hands to prayer. Come forward to stand on your right leg. Kick your left leg forward, half moon pose. Open your left leg back behind you. Stretch up and down. Warrior two, land with that left foot to the back of the mat. Open the arms out to the sides. Straighten your right leg, bring your hands to prayer. Bring your right toes in a little bit. Left toes out a little bit, skandhasana. Deep squat onto your left leg. Flex the right foot when you need to. And then see how gentle you could kind of sit down on the floor. Okay, stretch your left leg out to the left. Take a moment here. Straddle, flex your both feet. Send your tailbone and your seat bones back to the wall behind you. Engage the legs and then start to lean forward any amount you can. Take a moment here. Stay active with the legs. And a little more length through the spine as the tailbone moves back. Two more breaths here. Good. And then gently lift the chest up. Take a moment as you lengthen. We are going to try to come out from here the same way we kind of came in. So first we're going to see if we can lift that left leg off the floor. Use your hands as support. You can lean forward towards that left leg and then press away and lift. Bend your left leg, bring it in towards you. Use your hands to get it a little bit closer to you if you need. Then lean forward and press up. Good. Try to make it back into warrior two. Open your right toes out, left toes in. Rebend on your front leg, open the arms. Then circle the arms down to the floor. Vinyasa or downward facing dog, your choice. Left side, inhale, bring your left leg back and up. Exhale, step your left foot forward in between your hands. Inhale, high lunge, reach the arms up towards the ceiling. Tuck your tailbone in, maybe get deeper into that left leg. Then bring your hands to prayer, come forward to stand on your left leg, bring your right knee towards your chest. Kick that right leg forward. Open out to the right, half moon. Pose. Find the balance here as you stretch forward and back. And then with control, warrior to land with the right foot back behind you. Open the arms out to the sides. Straighten your right leg. Bring your right toes in. Left toes in, sorry. Right toes out a little bit. And then deep squat onto your right leg, Skandhasana. And as gentle as you can, you're going to make it all the way down towards the floor. Open your right leg out to the right. And then right from here, flex your feet. Send the tailbone back and see how much you can fall forward. And then think, legs are active and you see, it's as if you were trying to get into Navasana. Can you get your thighs closer towards you? Two more breaths here. Get the voice control, lengthen through the chest again. Bring your hands towards your right leg. Lift the right leg up towards the ceiling. Bend your right leg, bring it in towards you. Help it as you need it. Coming back into that skandhasana. Lean forward, 
press up to stand, right toes in, left toes out, coming back into warrior two. Then circle the arms down to the floor, vinyasa or downward facing dog. Your choice at your own pace. From downward facing dog, bring your feet together to touch side to side, look forward towards your hands. We're gonna jump through, step or jump to seat on your mat. For Danisher Shatsana, open your left leg out to the left. Bring your right foot in towards that left leg. Right from here, I think the hips are facing forward towards the top of the mat. Twist from the chest out to the left and then fold forward towards your left leg. Bend your left leg if you need to, catch on the foot or not. Your choice. Take a few breaths here as you fall forward. One more breath. Inhale, lift the chest. We're gonna switch sides. Open your right leg out. Bring your left foot in. Turn towards your right side. And then fold towards your right leg. Catch the foot or not, your choice. And take a few breaths here. One more breath. And then lift the chest back up. Stretch your both legs forward towards the top of the mat. I like somewhere hip with distance apart for this one. Flex or point your feet, but then just round forward and really round the spine as you're kind of stretching your back, if you would put it that way. And then stretch the arms forward and then keep rounding as you roll back, keeping the legs as strong and as straight as possible. Tuck your tailbone in and then go back, back, back until you land on your mat. Bend your both legs, place your feet down, move your hips out to your right, a few centimeters, hug your knees towards your chest and then drop them over towards your left side. And open the right arm out to the right into a twist. Close your eyes if you want to. And then come back to center. Place your feet on the floor, scoop your hips out to your left. Hug your knees towards your chest and drop them over towards your right side. And open that left arm out to the left. And when you're ready from here, you move into Shavasana, stretching your legs down and your arms down to completely relax. And allow your body to find space, allow your body to relax and the breath move around in a normal and natural way. And if you feel like it, you give yourself a smile and you thank yourself for this practice today. Thank you so much. You stay there as long as you need to. Namaste.